The Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge is designed for gamers in mind as well. And within the game launcher, there is a, a feature called Game Tools. So for game, to access Game Tools, you will see this little red icon on the left side. You can actually see the different um, settings that allows you to enhance your gaming experience. So if you do not want the uh, uh, gaming experience to be hampered, you can actually move the positioning of this uh, Game Tools icon. Okay, you can even shift it to the other part of the screen. So it's completely um, movable by the user. So let me explain a little bit more about this uh, game tools. So what it does is if you're playing games, you know, sometimes it does get a bit irritating if you keep getting alerts and pop-ups. So you can actually turn on the alerts so that, uh, turn off the alerts so that no one can actually interrupt you while you're playing this game. Um, there's also a recent and back key lock settings. Um, sometimes when we play games with our two fingers, it might accidentally trigger the back button or the recent button. So if you do not want that to happen, we can actually turn that on over at the uh, game tool setting. Um, sometimes you may want to react to certain uh, messages or you want to do something or check uh, something on another app or on the phone. You can actually minimize the game with this button over here. What it does is it now becomes a little window, okay? And to return to the game, just click, okay? And the game will automatically be paused and you can just resume your game over here. And um, there's also a um, screenshot uh, button over here that you can easily take a screenshot of the game and then share it on social media. But what's really cool is the recording function. So it allows you to record a gameplay video, uh, which is right rather popular these days um, to anyone, to your social media or even keeping it um, on your phone. So there's a couple of settings you can actually um, adjust regarding the recording function. So go into the settings button on the uh, game tools, um, go into record. You can actually set an avatar picture for yourself, um, even change the size of the picture. This is what um, will appear while you record um, the uh, game video, okay? Instead of just showing an image, in this case, which is my photo you see earlier on, you can actually turn on um, the front camera. So what it does is basically while you're actually recording the footage of the gameplay, you see um, your own picture and then um, it records what you are saying. Um, so you can actually maybe um, use this uh, function as a tutorial to teach your friends how to clear this stage, for example. So you can also record in terms of um, different audio sources. One is from the microphone, so you're recording the, the player's voice rather than uh, the in-game audio. But if you do not want that, you can actually always select game audio, which means that you're recording um, the audio from the game, including the system sounds. So video quality, it's up to full HD. You can actually select a lower um, resolution if you want to um, adjust uh, accordingly. So you can also adjust the bit rate, but by default, it's set on auto mode. Now, I'll just do a quick uh, demonstration on how to record uh, using game tools. So, I'm in the middle of my game, okay? So from here, go back to the game tool setting and just simply click the button record. So you see this little avatar, you can move it all over the place, okay? So this shows you the elapsed time of the video, and now I'm going to proceed with the game. So when you want to stop, just click on the avatar again. And this video is now saved and recorded in the video gallery. Okay, let's minimize the game. And this is the video that I've just taken. Okay. I can also easily share this uh, to my social networks via WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, etc. So this is the game tools um, that's made for gamers in mind. So now I'm going to introduce the game launcher on the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. So basically the game launcher is designed to, to enhance the experience of gamers um, and also to optimize the performance of your games while using playing the games on your mobile device. So to enable the game launcher, first go to settings, under advanced features, and there's a setting called games. Okay, just make sure that the game launcher um, is being turned on. Okay. So now, I've set a shortcut of the game launcher on my edge screen over here. 
So when you tap on Game Launcher, what it does is um, no matter how many games you have installed on your phone, um, you have all the games consolidated onto um, the Game Launcher itself. So it's like a one-stop shop for all the games that has been installed on your phone and you can easily access any games uh, that you want via the Game Launcher. So before you start the game, if let's say you're playing this game on the go and you are not um, um, expecting um, to be home or near a battery source any soon, it will be wise to use this setting here whereby you can save power while playing your game. So this optimizes the frame rate as well as the resolution in order to keep your battery power uh, optimized and um, so your battery life is extended. Okay. So on top of that, uh, you can actually um, preset no alerts during game um, over here. So when you start the game, you won't be getting um, pops up, calls, uh, notifications, uh, and any form of interruption to your game. And also to enable the game tools function that uh, lets you do some kind of um, um, recording as well as uh, in-game related features. So um, there's also a featured videos icon here, you click on it, it basically shows you all the videos from YouTube that is um, released for the game that you have installed on your device. So this is a nifty place to probably find tips and tricks and understand more on how to clear certain parts of the game. So this is the game launcher, optimized for the gamers.